Hello, I'm Stephen Conway. And I'm Jamie McDermott, and this is Sky News. Students were excited to hear that Time Flies will headline this year's spring concert. Yet, there has been change to the spring weekend schedule, where it is now more of a spring month. The spring concert, carnival, and spring mixer will all be held different weekends. The Stonehill community lost a very important member early this month. Mary Shields, one of Stonehill's largest benefactors, passed away on January 7th. She was 85. She and her husband, Thomas Shields, former chairman of the Board of Trustees, were the key benefactors of the Shields Science Center and the Shields Scholarship, which has helped over 125 Stono students. Shields is survived by her seven children and 21 grandchildren, some of who are in Stonehill alum and members of the board. Shields will always be remembered throughout the Stonehill community for her life full of generosity and community service. There has been much concern from students and faculty about recent reports of sexual assaults on campus. Stonehill College's President Reverend John Denning held a community forum addressing this issue, stressing the school's commitment to safety. There was great turnout to this forum and the campus community truly came together. Earlier this winter, Stonehill broke ground on a 15-acre solar field across the street from the main campus, continuing sustainability efforts. The solar panel field will be the largest on a New England college campus, according to the Association for Advancement of Sustainability in Higher Education, and 11th largest in the nation. The project is expected to be completed earlier this year. Stonehill's WSHL radio station received some major renovations to improve the overall look and layout of the station. This began during the final week of winter break and should be done by the beginning of February. Thanks to a Stonehill alum who donated the money for this project, the radio station will be improved. The new pedestrian bridge that crosses the Hare Pond was vandalized yet again, the third time since it was opened in October. Three light poles were kicked out and one LED light strip was ripped out from under the railing. The bridge was temporarily shut down each night at dusk due to the vandalism. The bridge reopened full-time once again on January 28th. Hackers have recently compromised the Stonehill email servers and conned some students into giving them their passwords. The IT service desk is doing its best to boost awareness efforts for online safety to both students and faculty. According to IT, if you ever feel uncertain about your safety online, the best thing to do is change your password. The Golden Globes were hosted this past Sunday and Brooklyn Nine-Nine shocked the nation, winning Best TV Comedy Series in its first year on the air. One of the lucky to call the Golden Globes their own was Stonehill alum Neil O'Darity, who is a post-production assistant for the show. O'Darity was a communications major at Stonehill and also played defensive line on the football team. O'Darity landed the job with the show last year. Stonehill's insurance policy will cover the cost of items stolen from the men's cross-country team. The team was at the NCAA Division II Cross Country National Championship in Spokane, Washington, when $1,300 worth of items were stolen from their van. It is wonderful that Stonehill's insurance will take care of everything. Thank you for tuning in. Pick up a copy of the Stonehill Summit or visit us online for the latest and most up-to-date information about Stonehill College. Stay classy, Stonehill.